a million times better. Yay. Is that better? Okay. Lisa and Katie, do this? take two. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're starting awesome. over guys. This is, this is the new beginning. So the first thing is I know why we're having a hard time because I forgot to say a prayer. So let's stop everything. Let's just hold the phones and let's say a quick prayer as we, um, yes. As we start things over again. So in the name of the Father, and then the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, I want to just praise you and thank you for the opportunity of today, for the joy that comes with celebrating um, a project like this, and for all the people out there who might get a chance to hold our book in your hands. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit to just bring this book to whoever it's meant to be with, and that whoever gets it will know how much you love them and how much you need them to love the world around you. Thank you for the gift of Katie. Thank you for John Sweeney and all of our friends at Paraclete. Thank you for all the kids out there who have taught and inspired us. And thank you especially to our families who put up with us when we lock ourselves in our office and our studio and do your work. We offer you all the love and praise. Amen. Father, Amen. Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we were talking about how um, you came to it and mentioning that we have this mutual friend, Father Lou, and that I had interviewed you about um, your book, Audacious Ignatius. Do you have it within hand reach that you can hold up one? I do, yeah, actually. Hold it up. So we were talking about this guy. Yeah. This is a <laughs> picture book about the life of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Um, it was awesome. And I saw that artwork and I was like, I love it so much. So then what happens? Let's see. So we had just a great conversation. And then the next week, I heard from John Sweeney, um, your editor, and he asked, he told me that you were getting ready to do another picture book, which I didn't even know, and uh, said that you uh, had asked if I could illustrate it. And I was so excited. <laughs> um, and so I sent some sketches over. Um, and he told me that um, I was that I was going to be illustrating your book and I was just over the moon. So it's like the hugest promposal ever. Like, will you illustrate my book? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> she said yes. And what we have as a result is this, which if you're, if you're at your computer or you have a phone in your hand, which obviously you have one of those because you're watching this, just go over to Amazon and take a look. We have the look inside feature up now. So you can look inside of the book and see all of Katie's amazing artwork. Yes, that is Pope John Paul II playing soccer. If you don't know that story, you need to go to page 15 of I'm a Saint in the Making. I love the artwork in this book. I love how varied it is too. We've even got shots of inside of church We've got classroom shots and family shots. Katie, you know, we were talking yesterday about um, what what our favorite pages on the book might be. And I'm wondering if you were going to pick out one illustration, what would you choose? Oh, I always, you know, I think I have a lot of favorites, but I think I always have to come back to the map page. I just really love illustrating maps. And I learned a lot about the saints in this illustration in order to make the map. Um, so I just enjoyed the process of making that one a lot. And uh, I'll hold it up on my end too. Do you have a favorite illustration oh, in you. that? Like when that was your favorite to draw of the saints on that page? Um, gosh, it's hard to pick. They're um, all awesome. Yeah. You stuck one in that might be a little bit new um, to some people, which is Servant of God, Darwin Ramos from the Philippines. Yeah, you know, I was actually going to throw that out there as maybe that was my favorite one to do. Um, he lived in the Philippines. And um, this is a picture of what I believe is his actual parish wow. um, in, his, in the town that he lived in, um, in the Philippines. I did a little bit of research to try to figure out, like, what, you know, what's the church that was closest to where he lived. So that, that is my guess that that was his parish. Um, and he, um, 
what he died when he was young so he is uh i you know showed him as a child he was um he had a disability he was in a wheelchair um and i thought that his life uh, there's not a ton of information about him but i thought that his life really embodied a lot of the things that you wrote mm -hmm. about in the book because he is a servant of god so he is literally on the path to becoming a saint. a saint he's a saint in the making um, and just a, you know, empowering story for And it's one of the like, things that we talk about in, um, in the book is sort of a, that there's a process to this, that we're all called to be saints in the making, but that there's a little bit of a formal process too. So I love that we have a few that aren't quite there yet, that we're still um, watching go along the path. When I was asking myself, what were my favorite pages? I was like, every page is my favorite, but there are two pages <laughs> that really mean a lot to me right now. Um, so I don't think we've ever even talked about this, but on, so the first half of the book, we discuss, you know, the lives of some very famous and maybe not so famous saints, holy men and women. But then the second half of the book, we turn towards like, how can you and I be saints in the making? And so we go through different things that everybody can do to be a saint in their own lives. And one of the pages, um, is really kind of a continuation of my theme of my last book, which is I Am God's Storyteller. It's um, page 27. This is the artwork for it right here. And on this page, I'll just read it. It says, being a saint in the making means looking for ways to share God's story with everyone I meet. I learn God's story at church, in the Bible, and by listening to my parents and teachers. I share my love for God with my words, with songs, or even with dancing and games. God gave me a huge imagination and special talents to be his storyteller. And the reason that I love this page so much, so if you look at it, the kids are holding up a book, and the book is one of the illustrations <laughs> from, from I Am God's Storyteller. And that is just like super de duper awesome to me, Katie, that you did that. <laughs> it just gave me so much. I fun. was really excited about that. I was hoping that you would notice. I love it so much. So, and then the other page that I really love um, is the page right before that. It's page 26. And on this page, um, the words are, I visit my grandma at her nursing home and draw pictures for her to decorate her walls. I hug my dad when he comes home from a long day at work and thank him for taking such good care of my family. I give an extra smile to the woman I see on the street corner or at the market. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm making myself cry. I can't read the last line. <laughs> I've, I've got this, Lisa. <laughs> God made my heart big enough to love anyone. But those are just, those are beautiful examples. I'm going to talk about it for a minute. Uh, but those are just really beautiful examples that I think are really empowering for kids to think about, oh, I do those things. And to make that connection of that simple action that I take um, is a way that God makes my heart big enough to love anyone. Yeah. That's, that's a saintly thing to do. And everybody, if I hold the book in front of my face, I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> everybody in my family won't recognize this particular person in the picture, but they will see that she's working a puzzle, which is very significant to what's been going on in our family for the last little while with my mom, um, who has been on this journey um, a journey towards Jesus in her own way. Um, and she's been living in special places, not at home for the last few years. And um, one of the things that we did quite frequently with her when we were visiting her at one of the places that she lived was work puzzles. Yeah, Nana, right? So, um, and one thing that's super awesome when, <laughs> when you're Nana and you do puzzles it doesn't really matter if the pieces go together when you're working a puzzle with Nana. So <laughs> just do the puzzle, just draw the picture. And, you know, it reminds me that um, right now, you know, we talked a little, I talked a little bit about coronavirus and how that's impacted us right now. When sometimes when we can't be physically with each other, we can still be with each other um, in love and in prayer. So I love those pictures, Katie. So awesome. Can I say something about the Nana doing puzzles picture yes, too? Yes, please do. Um, I was very excited to put a picture on the wall of Saints Jane de Chantal and Francis de Sales. Yes. Um, I went to a high school that was staffed by the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales 
and uh, was really formed in his uh, spirituality. And uh, the uh, Jane de Chantal and Francis de Sales are really special to me. So I was happy to be able to include them. And that's one of the really fun things about the illustrations is that um, on every page, you have these little hidden things. So, um, you know, when you're looking around the pictures in general, you just see all kinds of little tiny details. And one of them that I want to point out because it's just so special, I kind of asked you to do this, but the mom on the very first page, if you can see, is wearing a necklace and it is my necklace. Um, Greg gave me this necklace and it contains my engagement ring diamond, um, my, my first engagement ring. And um, he had this made for me and it's a one of a kind Celtic cross. And I love it that our, our mom in the book is wearing my cross too. So that's really, it special. is really special. And um, so that's a little bit of a peek. Katie, I know you have another appointment. So I want to get closing kind of last thoughts from you before I let you go. Um, and I'm just so happy. So happy I'm crying. Thank you. Yes, I'm so happy. To... <laughs> In case anyone was wondering if this book is special and dear to your heart, now they know. Yeah, it also <laughs> doesn't help special. that I woke up super early for morning radio. <laughs> so I'm a little sleep deprived. Oh gosh, yeah, no, that's that good. is really hard. Um, closing thoughts. Um, I have, I have so many thoughts. I'm just so ex This is such an exciting day. I'm so excited about this. Um, I could talk, I could literally talk about the illustrations all day long. Um, but I, I just think we need to do this again. <laughs> we'll have to have more conversations. <laughs> Katie, don't, haven't you been hearing me for the last month saying I'm never writing another book? <laughs> <laughs> One thing that happens as you get ready. To have, I don't know like, about that. I'm not sure. Um, as you get ready to kind of like, it's kind of like when I remember when we had our second son, I love you so much, Adam, if you're watching this, um, that the night before we went to the hospital, we, he was beginning to be induced. And before we went the night before I had this like little freak out where I was like, Ah, like what <laughs> how is this gonna happen and it's not yes <laughs> it's not exactly like that I mean and then when you bring your baby home you realize wow how did I ever live without them they've made our family and our life complete um yes. but I sort of been having this thought for the last few weeks as we were getting ready for this to come out like oh my goodness you know, we just want everyone to have it we want everybody to get it and love it and share it and um, this is a hard time, right, to be launching a book. Um, like I was saying, we can't go do a book signing and we can't speak or even have a party to celebrate. So we have to rely on you guys um, to help us spread the word. And so if you've been touched by what we created or if you, um, you know, you want to support this work, um, one thing that you can do is get a copy of the book. And so um, it's really easy to find it in lots of different places. Our friends at Paraclete, Paraclete Press have it at their website at paracletepress.com. Um, we also have it available online at Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So those are easy places to search for it. I'm a saint in the making um, or your local retailer. You can walk in and ask them to carry it. If your bookstores are open, that's the best place to go. Honestly, it's very wonderful to support them. Um, and once you get the book, you know, even if you don't have young children in your life, there are lots of schools and libraries and churches and um, that you could make a donation to. So I hate to beg, but I'm begging. <laughs> <laughs> because I think this um, work, the message of this book is is ageless. Right, Katie? It is. Yes. And I was talking to a teacher the other day, a Catholic school teacher, and she was saying that um, these days with e-learning, teachers love to have uh, books like this on Kindle because then they can screen share with the students and read it oh, uh, together. Oh, all together. That's on, awesome. Yeah. And the kids can, can see their screen. So that's a handy use of Kindle these days. That's fantastic. Good, good suggestion, former, former and current e-teacher. <laughs> that's right <laughs> any shout outs that you want to give because I said thank you in our prayers but is there anybody that you want to thank um I'm just so thankful to be a part of this thank you <laughs> thanks to you for writing it and thanks to John for all of his help and everybody at Paraclete and um, thanks to everybody that is reading and sharing it we're so excited that you guys are liking it 
Awesome. Well, Katie, thank you so much. And um, cheers with, with my big mug of coffee. Cheers. Virtual toast. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to lots of little saints in the making, getting this message and taking it to heart. I'm going to let you go because I know you have an appointment and I'm just going to hang out for a few more minutes with everybody that's in All right. thank the chat. Thank you for God inviting me to the book so lunch. Happy. happy lunch day. And I'll see you, All right. I'll see you very soon on some form yeah. of technology. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see you soon on the internet. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. And she's going to have to hit that button that says finish. So I just wanted to uh, see um, if anybody had, I'm, I wasn't even watching the comments as they were going past here. So if anybody has a question, now would be a great time to drop it in the, in the chat window. Um, and I just want to say thank you. I know you guys are all busy, so it's super um, nice of you to come and spend a few minutes with us and celebrate this. If you're just coming on board, um, this is the new book. It's called I'm a Saint in the Making. Um, officially for little kids, you can see on just about every page there are words. So if you have a young reader, um, this might be something that you share with them. If you're 99, you're a saint in the making too, and you're never too old to read and share this book. Um, oh, Patrick is there, Patrick is asking, is there a saint in the making that we should know about? There are so many, but the one that's really significant to me right now, um, his name is Patrick. His name is Father Patrick Payton, and he's a venerable, and um, he actually... So one thing that people who aren't Catholic maybe sometimes misunderstand sometimes is um, how a saint is made formally in the church. Um, so we're all called to be saints in the making. Some people are formally recognized by the church as saints. And one of the stages of um, becoming a saint in the making is the stage of venerable. That's what Father Patrick Payton is right now. He's venerable Patrick Payton. And he's the priest who said, the family that prays together stays together. And so he's very close to my heart right now because he's who I called on my prayer telephone when our brother-in-law, David, was recently very ill. And I assigned him the job of helping us get David well. And I spoke to him a lot in my prayers. And um, anybody who's friends with us knows how awesome Dave is doing. So um, I really believe in the power of praying through the intercession of the saints because they lived such amazing lives. Not that they were perfect. They absolutely weren't. Um, but we know their hearts are very close to God. And so just in the same way that we might ask a friend to pray for us or help us when we're having a problem, um, we can call them. And so Venerable Patrick Payton, the family that prays together stays together. Um, and... Hi, Erin, you just came on right at the perfect time. I was just talking about your family. Um, I want to also answer this question from Carla, who's asking, how do we get a signed copy? So there's a couple of different ways. If you'd like to buy it someplace um, and um, just let me know, I can sign like a little nameplate sticker that you can actually put into the book. If you'd like to purchase a signed copy from me, probably the easiest thing to do is just either send me a DM here on Facebook or email me at lisahendy at gmail.com because um, I can sign the book and have it sent directly to you. I actually have some author copies here. So um, yeah, so that's the best way. And honestly, though, if you can um, go in and buy it someplace, I know our retailers right now are really struggling. So um, we got to keep those bookstores open. Um, so yeah, that's the best way. But if you want to get one from me, just send me a DM or um, send me an email. So Rachel, thank you so much for those kind words that you're saying about being practical. Small things with great love is like one of those great um, Mother Teresa um, things that she's always telling us and Therese of you as well. And so to me, you know, sometimes I get really hung up in my life thinking that to be a saint in the making means that you have to be, first of all, just praying nonstop all the time. And then secondly, just so, so holy, way more holy than I think I'll ever be. And it gives me great hope to study the lives of the saints because I can see that, um, Sometimes they messed up and they were imperfect and 
um, there's hope for me. Um, so I think I simplify things because that's the way I understand theology. Maybe it's why I like writing for kids so much because to me, you know, I fell in love with God at a very early age because I was very blessed to grow up in a home where not only did we go to church, but our parents told us every day how much they loved us and how much God loved us. And so for me, it was easy to understand at a little age this um, this great sense of um, being special and being loved. And um, that's the message I think that I want to give everybody with this book. Um, and some families kind of already do this and they do it way more eloquently and with greater levels of catechesis than I could ever do. But I'm hoping that maybe this little book um, that's very simple, if you don't know how to have that conversation in your home um, with your kids or even with one another as parents, maybe this can be the thing that holds your hand a little bit and helps you to bring it to life. And one thing that we have in the back of the book is the section for parents and teachers and caregivers that um, talks a little bit about how to kind of share um, this idea of being a saint in the making in your home. So um, yeah, so that's it. So I've been on here a long time and I know all of you guys are at work and you're busy. Some of you are sitting at a golf course watching on a, on a phone. Um, I just want to say I love you and I'm so grateful to you um, for sharing this moment with me. Again, the book is I'm a Saint in the Making. It is from Paraclete Press. Um, it is readily available for, um, you know, not very much money. <laughs> a couple of cups of coffee worth. And I promise that um, it's a message that I'll keep on giving. So even if you don't have a little one in your life, um, maybe you can support us today by ordering a copy of the book and donating it or giving it to a family um, that you respect and love. So um, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being a saint in the making. I'll see you soon. God bless.